I roto i tēnei hōtako hanti nao te roa, ka haere tā tau ki te moutere o reko hu. E whakanga pōaka tā mātou ko Anthony Mahi. Kā tahi mātou ko te ol ko tāna kuri a DJ Hoki, ka haere ki te patu weka. Taku waka ki Aotearoa, ki te eke waka rererangi, kia tai atu ki te motu o rekohu. Kua kotahi haora, lima te kau miniti te roa o taku rere, mai i te taunga waka rererangi o poneke. E mahara hara ana te hinengaru i taku kore mōhio, ko ai aku hoa whakangau pōaka. O i anō, ko tāku e mōhio ana ke te tūtaki atu au ki a teo, ki te taunga waka rererangi o rekohu. E whakawātea i te whatumanoa. Ate nga koutou e hoa ma, i tēnei rā, ko hara mai mātou ki te motu tapu, ko re kohu, otherwise known as the Chatham Islands, te kainga tūturu o te iwi moruhu, ngā mori ori. First time here whānau, wai wai tapu for me. Really excited to be here and meet the locals, check up on the history, bit of pig hunting, worker hunting, and anything else I can eat. You look like my hostess with the mostess. Kia ora, Howie. Kia ora, mate. Welcome to Whakakauri. Gee, tuned on the weather for us, isn't you? Oh, absolutely. Hey. This is just a bad day. Wait for tomorrow. Oh, we're out of here, eh? Yeah. B bit chilly, mate. Off the pub, eh? You reckon? I meet a few of the locals. <laughs> Sounds good to me. He kainga tēnei mau tere tapu ki te iwi mori ori i tōna wā. Ko na ingoa ko rekohu, ko whare kaure rā nei. Ka haruru te mau tere i ngā pakanga, Ā, nā wai rā ka riro ki te Māori te mano o tēnei whenua. He toto pūtahi nā e nei ngā uri o tēnei kainga, toto Moriori, toto Māori, toto Pākea anoa hoki. Negi atu i te whiturau ngā tāngata kei rekohu e noho ana. He hiika, he ahu whenua anoa hoki ngā oranga o tēnei kainga. Hei tā teo, he kai whakangau pōaka te nuinga o te iwi kainga. Nā, kua whakaritea e a e tahi whara, Hei arahi a hau i rungo o rekohu. Well, Del told me to be here. Nice and early to meet the boys. Looks like this is him coming here. How's it going? Anthony. Yeah, mate. How are we? Yeah, mate. How's it going? How's it going, mate? Good. This is Toby. How you going, mate? Good, buddy. Yeah, mate. How's it going? And Tommy had a bit of a pig hunt. You go for a wander. Yeah? You got pigs over here. You hanging around there? Eh? Yeah, I like the looks of your hole here. He's a big boy. <laughs> what do you reckon? I jump on there or I follow you or what? Um, just come on the truck and just take the bikes and leave the bikes in the truck and go for a walk out the creek up here. Sweet. You may need us to keep up with us. Is that right? Yeah. Don't worry about me, buddy. <laughs> taking Howie out for a pig hunt out here at Manganui today. Uh, I've lived, lived here for 30 years, grew up here on this farm. And I must started probably hunting on my own when I was about 14. My dad here, um, I know he had a, and my two uncles had a pig paddock down here and started off with about, I don't know, 10 or so pigs and we ended up with over 100 in there I guess. And they just started getting out and yeah, spread out everywhere. Yeah, g'day, I'm Jason and um well, I used to do deckhand for ants for a while. Oh, it's the last couple of weeks. Me and Ant's been up the back, and um, oh, two weeks running. We've got 200 pounder both times go out at Ocean Bay. My name's Toby Donaldson. Oh, from Chatham Islands, obviously, and uh, been here since oh, I was about six months old. Family's been here since the late 1800s, so I'm pretty much born and bred Chatham Islander. Growing up as a kid, I used to go to high school and feel sorry for the kids out there because they were stuck in NZ. Coming down here, you could have the hunting, the fishing, and it was just a bloody a great place to grow up. Done a lot of hunting with Jace, and um, caught a few pig, pig, 
big pigs down uh, south. We uh, one hunt there, we were, had a pig in an undermine and it took us about 10 hours to get it out. Lost one dog, it was, um, we dug a dug a massive hole into the ground. And that took us from about 2 in the morning till 10 o'clock the next morning. She was a, uh, yeah, lost the dog, which was a bit of a shame, but it happens, I suppose. Kua whiti mātou i tō kōawa, nā, he a hā tēnei. Been here five minutes. Pig just run past, round there, over there. Boys reckon carry on, too small. Too much. Ko hoki ano ki te mahi matua, kei tua i te hiwi, ko te wī pōaka tuatahi. Ko te āhua nei, he rangi pai tonu tēnei. Ka wero hia, nā, ko te tuatahi tērā. We've been hunting for about 30 minutes. We've seen three, we've got one to take back for the pot. The boys are keen on getting a ball, but uh, they were going to actually let this one go, but uh, my taste buds got the bit on me, so I'm going to take this one back and fry them up for the locals. Bro, is that the normal around here? Uh, up here it is, eh? It's usually like that. A lot of small stuff there. Eh? Even now and again, get something decent. Well, even a spool, mate. Yeah, mate. We can walk buddy all day for two days back home and not even catch a pig. We've seen three already. True. One for the pot. I see you want to call this hunting then. Oh mate, this is very, <laughs> this is a creme de la creme hunting mate. E te whanau, hoki mai anō ki te mou tere tapu o rekohu i te moana nui akiwa. Ko tahi te pōaka mo te iwi kainga, i nai nei, me rapu tātou i te tahi tariana tino rahi rawatu. Kei hea koe pōaka. That's the first one we caught this morning. Got on to a few others, but we let them go because we're after that big one, eh, brother? It's fun. Good little leader, though, mate. Yeah, no, it's a fair day. Pretty pigs around, eh? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they do much damage to your bloody land around here? Yeah, especially now. Ground starts to soften up. Yeah, you know. Make a big mess, eh? So you become the cocky's best friend and uh, when there's pretty pigs like that around, eh? Yeah, it freezes as you fall, eh? <laughs> What do you reckon? Rip the guts out of that and go and try and find that big one. So um, yep. So who got you sailing down here, man? Oh, I started hunting, oh, probably with my uncle on parole when I was probably about six, seven years old. He used to go out with him, he used to just plonk us up in a punga tree and he'd go around chasing pigs and once he's caught it, he'd come get us and me. Have the numbers changed less than before? Oh, no, because a lot of people uh, mark, like a lot of, um, Bulls, like good breeding bulls, I'll let them go. Or a lot of young bulls, I'll get marked as barrows. And the same with sows, a lot of the good stuff lets go, so there's always plenty of pigs around. The odd person's let the odd um, domestic pig out back just to try and get them big, but I don't know whether they last long up there. Yeah, I see a few white ones running around here. Yeah, must be Anthony's pet pigs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All for the camera. Hey, a hokey in there, Nanakia. He's actually away from the swing it on the shoulders, mate. Yeah, so was I. Doesn't be too heavy for him, eh? Oh, no, no, there he goes. You got him on there now. Oh, yeah. Ara, tichira watu, he poaka no! Pigs all over the place here, whanau. Too much. He te whanau, koro rafina mo tēnei wiki, shooting aids or rifle rests. Adam's got one to demonstrate for us here. Now how we do this is as simple as a collapsible piece of tubing, aluminium tubing. We form a cross here, it's just held together by a bit of heavy rubber. Put our rifle in between the cross there, it gives us a nice steady platform. If we're out in the field paddock and we can't find any rest, it just makes it a lot more accurate for us. Well, I actually like this one mate, adjustable height. All we have to do is place the rifle in the top, you can strap me up. All right, with this here. Just the height, line them up, 500 metres, sparrow, boom! Down he goes, mate. Right. If we move across here, Howie, um, we've got some more uh, rifle 
Eight. Shooting platforms, eight. Okay, these are just like a bean bag. We've got a single one here. Place the rifle in between the uh, the slot. Keeps it pretty steady. Well, otherwise we've got two bean bags. Um, one for the forestock and one for the uh, butt section of the rifle. Very simple. And then what about this Adam pod? So bipod, Howie. Oh, bipod. Bipod. Yeah. Fully swivel, flexible mount. Detachable, okay, simple as that. Um, a lot of a lot of guys are using these for their rifles these days. And then we got this big uh, big hoo here. Okay, this this is a great uh, machine for uh, sighting your rifle out on the bench, especially your high caliber ones. A bean bag in here, okay, keeps it nice and steady. Takes a lot of the recoil out of the rifle, so it makes it nice to shoot. Fully adjustable uh, with the adjustment knobs on here, and you can move the barrel sideways with a small one. But do they vary at all when sighting them in? They do vary. If you're going to shoot your rifle, a good thing to remember, if you're going to use a bipod, sight your rifle in from a bipod, if you're going to use a bag, use a bag, okay? They will shoot differently. Thank you, man. You're welcome. So there you have it, Fana. A few extra hints and aids for you to hopefully shoot a bit straighter. But as for me, I've never had any use for such aids. Apart from a mirror. Well, queen at the room, wiki. Yeah, it is great. Right. If ever there was ideal terrain for pig hunting, this is it. A fern and a tussock about knee high. And you can actually see as far as, as, far as the horizon. If you look over there, you can actually see the dogs. So the, the pig's are actually the same size as the dogs, so they're easy to pick out. Been hunting for about an hour and a half now, and I've slowly come back down to earth after all this excitement seeing all these pigs. Certainly satisfied my appetite for pig hunting, but we're still after that elusive boar. The boy's over that side somewhere, I think. There's another mob down here. Too much. Kua tata hoha au ki te kite i te maho o ngā puaka. The boys want another one over here. Woohoo! Ti ti ro mai! Taku to muri hoki! He poaka no to ngā kuri! Hei paka hoki atu ki ta kainga! There's a white one up there. The worms in our favour is coming this way, so hopefully that one looks a bit bigger than this one, so we'll get these dogs. That's enough, that's enough. Come on, come on, come on. Te kaha ngau hoki a ngā kuri, he pai ki te kite atu. Ko te ahua nei, nā ku te wero. You're gonna mate. You're gonna mate. Thank you much bro. Number three for the day. Bro. Big fella. Too much mate. Champion. All in a good two hours morning hunt. Mean. Go up here and we'll get one more eh. Here we go. Shall I go back in? Butter our bread. Get ready for lunch. Yeah, that bucket. You think you can muster it back to the truck? Oh, hey. I don't know about that. Awesome, man. Eh? Too much. Me hoki wa wa atu ki to Anthony Fare, he pia matao, he tito korero mo ngā mahi o te rā. Ko mutu te whakanga upua katahi me Anthony Matau ko Toby ko Big Jace. I ranga tohu pai mai te timatanga. He puaka pai mo te hunga kainga. Ka ki te mātou i te tōpūtanga o ngā puaka mai ta fiti. Ara hoki, e rua anō ngā puaka mo te kōhua. Te mutunga ke mai o te pai. I nae nei, ka hoki atu ki te mahi whaka mā kūpū korokoro me ngā kōrero pahupahi. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Thank you, man.
See this little fella guy today, Fanner? Fucking mean, all right. Hey, man, not bad, eh? Not bad little dog, eh? Got any? Yeah, yeah, good day. Oh, uh, awesome day. But enjoyed it. Six or seven pigs or so, so can't complain with that, I suppose. Well, I brought my one back. I think I made big, big Jace over there has to go back and get those other two. Yeah, I thought you were bringing them back, but we'll, we'll arrange something, I guess. I was actually hoping to catch a bigger one, mate, and see it on your shoulders. Yeah, not to be today, but you'll have to come back again sometime. I reckon. See if we'd snag the big one. Break in your new swanny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you reckon that? Not bad, eh? You know, pretty good. A few grumps this one, really. Pity we've got us a bit bigger, though. Mm -hmm. My opinion of you guys has changed, mate. I thought you fellas are soft. True. Eh? <laughs> but you don't call that hunting, do you? Eh? Uh, a bit easier this end. The other end of Ireland's a bit harder. Yeah. A bit steeper. Too much, mate. How are those blisters doing down there? I'm not too bad, buddy. Hunting on the Chatham Islands, aren't it? I think their dictionary under the word hunting is a bit different than uh, our hunting back in New Zealand. It's more like a walk in the park. Oh, cheers, mate. Cheers, yeah, mate. mate. Thank you, cheers. Cheers, bro. Thank you, mate. I like a good drink of horse piss after a hard day or something. Just <laughs> <laughs> promised, Fano. Bit of wicker hunting. Now, mate, Dale over here. And I made over here Anton once again because. Uh, it's actually his farm we're hunting on, so uh, you probably know where the wickers hang out, eh, Dan? Yeah, I hope so. I think he's fitting a few up for us, eh? So, yeah, should so, be good. Take us through the steps of wicker hunting, mate. First, you need a dog, I suppose. Yep, you need your trusty dog. Most people down here use uh, the Labradors. This is DJ, he's a Labrador cross. And uh, we just train them up and uh, they do all the running. You just send them on their way and tell them to go and find a wicker, and away he goes. Brings them back to your life, hopefully. Do I get to uh, stick it or what? How'll yeah, you've got to get out your big knife and do the old deed. Is it? You stick them or you ring yeah, them? Yeah, they're, they're, they're big. They're really big. Anthony's going to get on top of them and you'll have to car knife them. You're pulling my leg on, mate. No? I'm the one who's supposed to be telling the jokes around here. Isn't that, mate? <laughs> no, nah, mate, we'll just ring his neck. Let's go and get a wicker. Yeah, let's go, Ditch. Come on. Come on, DJ. Kua puta ke atu a DJ, nā, ko mātou ki te whai muri mai. Whai anō, me tuku noi hoi te kuri ki tāna i pai ai. What sort of uh, place they hide away in, man? Uh, usually in the sand grass along the coastlines. Um, you see them just anywhere where there's shelter, where they can um, burrow themselves in and you know, sort of hide themselves from predators and stuff, but you see them running along the sides of roads and oh, everywhere really, but you yeah, mainly in the sand grass and places like that. They usually have about two or three chicks, it's unusual to see them with more than that. And the chicks are pretty much just tiny little black fur balls and with these massive feet, like a uh, pukika feet. And they kind of just grow into their feet, I suppose. Apart from humans, what other predators attack them? Nothing really. Um, their main, their main um, predator probably would be um, the pukekas and stuff, eating their eggs. Um, but apart from that, they just roam free and people can come and catch them. And Yeah, they're not protected down here, so that's a good bonus about it all. I like how the dog goes out and the trees brings the bird right back to you. Oh yeah, that's the way to have it. We might have to teach Anthony's dogs <laughs> to do the same with the pigs. No? <laughs> what do you reckon? In the old days though, these old boys used to sit in their trucks, <laughs> seeing the dog out, the dog would bring it right back to their trucks, screw his neck, throw it on the back and the way the dog would go again. And, oh, it would be nothing to catch 30, 40 weekers in a night. Ara te tahi! DJ, alright, we are Bring it here, bring it here. Kua kona hia DJ, kia tika tana faka hoki mai nga weka. Kia kaua hoki ia e ngau ngau i nga manu. Bring it, DJ. Bring it here, bring it here. E ngari, ka hore ano ia kia aku i te mahi tuku. Drop it, drop it DJ. Drop it DJ. Good boy, good boy. Looks like bloody kiwis eh? 
Kia mōhi o mai koutou, kia kore e rā huingia te weke ki reko hunei, he taka kaite nei mō te hau kāinga. There you go, Howie. Here's our first weke for the night. Pretty nice feathers, eh? Yeah, they're lovely. A lot of um, people use them for kōrawais and that because they make such lovely, um, they've got nice colour in them and especially the, the bigger feathers. So yeah, when it's weka season, um, a lot of families in New Zealand ring up and want to, um, yeah, want the weka feathers. They actually make good trout flies too. Well, that too. Stuffing for pillows. I mean the whole bird. Oh, that's the how, whole bird. That's how big our trout is under oh, the Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll see the hard pocket, they spit that back. Is that right? Yeah, we have to give them something else. So how many more do you reckon we need for a decent feed? Oh, I reckon we'll get another half a dozen. It should be good for the old boil-up pot. Three days. Hopefully pitter has got the brine on the boil for us. Yep. And we'll uh, pickle them. Go boy. These are just um, the tracks where the wickers come through and they burrow their way into the sand grass and let's get in there for shelter and out of the weather and hatch their babies and do what they do in the sand grass. And so that's what the dogs usually sniff out. They can smell the scent of the wickers and try and follow their trails through the sand grass. So yeah. How is the wicker population in the old right? Oh, it's booming. It's great. Yeah? Yeah, it's really good. It's, um, the population's so good, they're not protected here, so... Um, is there a limit on them, how many you can get? No. People just, you can go all night, you can go out, most people go out on a full, full um, moon to catch them and um, they'll just go and go and go till the dogs get tired or they've had enough and, you know, they'll bring, bring them all home, clean them up and usually divvy them out to the old people and, um, yeah, just shear them out amongst the whanau. Kwa hua raru wa DJ i tēnei o ngā manu, engari. Ka mutu tana tara peke peke haere, ka hoki mai ia me te manu tuarua ki tana waha. Where is it? Good boy. Bring it here. Bring it here. Here DJ. Here DJ. Here DJ. Bring it here. Good boy. Good boy. We got one but not quite enough of the pot mate. Yeah, she's a bit dismal eh? Might mm. be the cold weather. Well in the dog's defence, you know, was in the old thorns here, so prick of a place to catch them. <laughs> What's your reckon, then, Tom? I think you might have jinxed us, mate. Yeah. Oh, Could reckon, be too, eh? I reckon we'll head back and have a nice hot cup of tea and uh, try our luck again another time. Fuck you, mate. I'm going to pub for a beer. I don't know if it Oki mai ano wa tērā wiki, ki ta mā takitaki i ngā mahi paira watu o ngā hōtaka, te kou mā rua kua hipa. Wau wa kaupapa rā, me e tahi atu. Wai nei ana ke te hōtaka mahi aru aru motuhake, ko hanti na o te aroa. Woohoo! Hei ko nei, hei ko nā. Hei mā mai. Oi, oi. We're down to our last ginger nut. Kia ora whānau, ko ro rāwhina mō tēnei wiki. A few extra nicks nicks. Fuck yeah! Knuckle knucks! Kia ora whanau, kororo a whina mo wiki. Few extra knickknacks. Fuck yeah! Extra. Go Riley. Extra.